Mars Analog is a space where our visitors to the exhibition can get used to the idea that they have to prepare for their long trip into outer space and for life on Mars, but also to visit some of the other organisms that are preparing themselves for this long trip. This is called Marsarium 9. It's a simulated recreation of Mars. So the soil inside is a DIY mix of Martian soil. And the atmosphere inside is like Mars as well. It's 96% CO2 and 2% argon and 2% nitrogen. And we've put an asparagus fern inside. It's not easy to grow plants in Mars-like environment. Uh, there's a reason why Mars is a desert and it's not because there's no water there. They've found water there. It's a lack of nitrogen and other fertilizers. I hope people see the relationships between trying to grow plants on Mars and solving climate change here on Earth. Um, they're very similar problems. It's all about increasing biodiversity and drawing down atmospheric CO2. Uh, so if you can grow a plant on Mars, solving the greenhouse problem here on Earth is really, really easy. This is a work called Performing Astronautics and it was created at the Mars Desert Research Station in 2018 with Crew 188. It's a 360 virtual reality piece. It looks and feels like the desert landscape and that's where astronauts train in preparation for space. It is about living life on the edges and it's about not only what we do on the outside but, but what we do on the inside and, and what we bring to these experiences and this work helps you step into that. So the Mars Desert Research Station is in the middle of the Utah desert and I wanted to recreate uh, the cramped kind of living um, conditions and also to show you how simple life can be when it's stripped back because that's what I realised when I was there. And I call it heart of the mission because for me everything was about the crew. So yes we had experiments to do and yes we lived in these cramped conditions but ultimately it was really just about the people. This is the actual crew here in our, in our habitat at MDRS. But yeah. The Deep Data Project is a series of space simulators really, kind of simulators and um, observational astrobiological experiments using data from space probes and planetary rovers and space orbiting telescopic platforms and seeing how various of these model organisms will, will behave under those kind of um, extra planetary circumstances. So this one is seeing how tardigrades respond to living in the, the magnetic fields of the gas giant planets in our solar system. How by observing how these organisms behave under these different conditions, we can project to a kind of a human post-terrestrial future and how we might need to adapt to, to a whole different set of evolutionary circumstances. So we are observing the organism, the Ruscofensis, uh, it's a special organism, it's a flatworm, plant animal, uh, animal that has algae inside of the epidermis. Uh, it's kind of a closed system that don't eat really because it gets most of the nutrients and most of the energy from the algae inside of bodies. And our main target actually is to observe it in the zero gravity in the outer space to see how it Behaves. Um, it's a model organism to understand climate change, uh, ecological changes, and for us a way to also, let's say, explore what will be space ecology. Uh, in, 